So I discovered something interesting on eBay here. I was just thumbing around looking at uh, 386 stuff and uh, came across this as a recommended uh, thing on the side there. You might recognize this from the video I did about, what, two or three years ago now. The Packard Bell Legend 610. That's the uh, first video ever uploaded to this channel. As you can see it's up for sale, and yes, this is mine. Uh, I sold this um, maybe about a month ago now on eBay for $135. And I shipped it with the original box. I actually double boxed it so the box itself wouldn't get damaged. The original keyboard and mouse there, and the cord and stuff like that. The original load and all that. And normally I sell stuff on eBay with the hopes that... Um, you know, it's going to someone who's into or wanting to get into vintage computers or collecting them and stuff like that. But this guy, he decided to flip it. And this is definitely mine. And I'll show you in a minute here that my sale. But this guy, look at what he's asking for it. $3.99. Just back up here. You can see his eBay handle right there. As you can see, it says very clean Packard Bell Legend 610 PC featuring Intel 46 CPU, 6 mega RAM, 102 megabyte hard drive, VGA, and uh, then it goes away. But uh, scroll down here, you can see the uh, back side of it there. And of course, he's watermarked it. That's all right, because it's my computer and I did the video on it, so technically I own the copyright to it. <laughs> I don't know if that works in real life, but you can see there. Of course, the camera just lost focus. There we go. See the bill plate? You can go back to my original video and compare that because I'm sure it's in that video. And Sound Black was 16. Says that the battery's been replaced, which I replaced before. I shipped it, actually. Where'd my mouse cursor go? You can see the Packard Bell screen there. And he's including Queen, uh, King's Quest. Queen's Quest, and there you go. You can see the original desktop still there, but he's asking $399. And just to prove, those of you who are interested, let me look at my, go to my selling here. And we'll scroll down here. And uh, there it is right there. You can see, you zoom in here. There he is. $120. Okay, I sold it for less than I thought I did. I think I had it listed for like $150 originally, and then I thought that might be a little bit too much. But yeah, you can see it right there that I I sold it. And the reason I sold it was because, you know, it just, it wasn't very fast. It's, it was actually pathetically slow. And even after a cash upgrade and uh, trying to run a DX2 in it, it was just really not very good. It just didn't really... I've got a lot of 46 stuff, and I think a 386DX40 or maybe even a 33 could pace this thing pretty well, but... Um, you can see there, the, I put a new battery in it. And, you know, this thing was just sitting around. I really wasn't doing anything with it, so I decided to sell it, and... Uh, so... It's kind of sad, actually, to see it back up there on eBay. But, you know, funny thing is, is that if someone's really that stupid to pay $400 for that, I'm sorry, um, you're an idiot, okay? <laughs> if Yeah, I apologize, I don't want to be mean, but uh, that's not worth $400. So if someone buys it for $400, more power to this guy, I guess. But, um, yeah, you can tell, too, because I shipped the original mouse with it, which... Admittedly, didn't really work very well. As you can see, he replaced the mouse there with an IBM mouse. And he's throwing in an old Windows and DOS 6.2 book there, which didn't go with the system. And it's also dirty and stained, too. You know, that's really cute. I could have done that. I mean, shit. But, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd make this video, just in case anyone was wondering whatever happened to that machine. I've actually got some video footage that I did of that thing when I was messing with it about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now. Um, I may go ahead and edit that footage together and put up another video of this computer. 
but uh, yep there it is on sale on eBay for $3.99 so get it now before it goes <laughs> I'm sorry but $3.99 is just way too much money for that computer I know it's rare it's all original well not anymore because he got he, he's uh, not including the mouse you know I would include the mouse even though it didn't work I'd include the mouse throw in a second mouse with it for $3.99 shit man Golly, but he, he doesn't say either. We go down here to the listing. It doesn't say... Um, let me just double check and read this. Yeah, it doesn't say anything in there unless I'm not seeing it. It doesn't say anything about the original box. He just brags about how good of a how good of a packing he, uh, shipper he is and bid with confidence no one sells repairs custom built PCs as reliable as I do well I hate to tell you dude but all the work that you claim to have been done and you're saying that this is refurbished um, I already did for you so there you go but uh, yeah I, it just you know it's kinda sad in one way and then it's kinda funny in another that someone's trying he's trying to get four hundred dollars for that and $45 shipping, by the way. Um, there's a Pentium 60 Packard Bell on eBay for far less than this. And I think that's probably a little bit more um, interesting or rare than a 486 Packard Bell is. It, like I said, this thing was this thing was a dog. I, it, unfortunately, it just, it just was a dog. I, I hate to say it, but... Um, anyway, there it is. All I can say is good luck, and whoever buys that thing, I'm sorry, you got more money than brains. It's not worth that price. Take care, everyone. Peace out.